Hey guys, another video by uh, another game by Valentina. She's playing Atlantis 2000, 11:55 rating. So it was a scotch, and Black played the not so good move. Uh, knight takes d4 uh, right away. Queen takes d4 because it allows White to comfortably centralize. I would, yeah, I would do the same thing. I like Castle Long a lot. Probably tuck in my king now. King b1, always a useful move. Bishop c4 is also playable. Queen takes c4, quick. And now I would definitely start with this move, king b1. And then, yeah, then I would start expanding h4. I guess starting expanding is okay. Really, there's no desperate need for this move, king b1. But I usually like to waste the move to tuck it in because it sometimes could get into trouble on c1. So now c6, okay. Mm, rook g1 that looks a little... I don't, I don't like that move. I get the move. It's protecting the attack, but the rook was very well placed on d1. It was it was aiming at his backward d6 point. So it's the, the move was kind of anti-positional. If anything, go rook h to g1. It, to me, that makes a lot more sense because the rook, anyways, it's not doing much on the h-file. If he takes on h4... That gives an open uh, H file, which would looks like really, really bad for black. So knight g4, I would just go bishop. Well, actually, you can go bishop f4 because knight takes f2. So maybe there's no like great way to deal with it. Um, again, I would just probably play king b1. Now black is totally fine here. Did uh, okay. Now you gotta be careful. If he takes the knight, you have to take with the pawn because there's this skewer. Again, that's why I always want to get the king to b1 because you could get into trouble like that. He could have taken the bishop and you would have to make this very ugly move fe because if queen takes bishop g5. So uh, this position, I don't like it now for white, but I mean it's still okay. This is a blunder. This is a sh No, actually no because uh, I'm sorry. After this, queen takes and if bishop g5, there's f4. So quick, f4, f4, let's go. f4. So it's still perfectly playable. This fine now. G4, G4, great, great. White's back in business now. Uh, next move. Uh, can you play G5 here right away? Mm, I think so. I don't see why not G5 here right away. 92 mm, looks a bit awkward because yeah, G5. Interesting. I would just A G, no thinking at all. A G open H file, just common sense. Ooh, that's a horrible move. FG is just awful, awful move. Like giving his bishop on G5. That's just very, very you were lucky to have this knight f4. But now the queen f6. Now black is completely dominated. A G was just very, very anti-positional. Uh so uh, definitely AG and Passant was the move, opening up the king, opening up the H file. So D5 is interesting. It makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. He's attacking at your center right away. Uh, queen F2. Hmm. See, this is where you want your king to be on B1. Now you're just dead lost. Now you could resign. Because after rook takes C4, now there's no way to protect. This is And the knight is pinned. If your king was on b1, you wouldn't have any of those problems. That's a great lesson for you. Why it's very useful to put your king on b1 when you castle long. Very good lesson. So, yeah, now, I mean, there's just nothing. There's nothing to do. It's just resign right away because, yeah, king d1 is as ugly as it gets. I don't get the logic. If you want to move your king, why not king b1? Why would you just expose your king like that in the middle of the board? That makes no sense whatsoever to make a move like king d1. I mean, it doesn't matter either way. You're dead lost. This is just total domination by black. Queen a5, yeah. Total crush. Next move, boom, tactics. Rook f1 and queen d2 mate. So I don't, I don't really even see how to deal with it. This this is the kind of position I guess you could just resign. There's like not nothing even to fight for. I, I really don't see a way to even like stir things up. It would it would be a miracle basically. Yeah. There is just nothing here. Yeah, queen c3. I mean maybe that was the only way to stop mate, but just take and rookie eight. This? 
Wait, I don't get it. Take the rook now. Wait, what am I missing? Why couldn't you take the rook? And it's protecting me. You could have just taken the rook, Valentina. I think that brings you back in the game. I'm not, I don't see what I'm missing there. Now, yeah, now it's just totally lost. And, uh, yeah, okay. So I guess he's just going to play rook a2. Yeah, this is pretty disastrous. This is pretty disastrous. Uh, wow. B3, okay. I mean, queen B1, yeah, it's just mate, yeah. All right, so that was definitely not one of Valentina's game, best games. But, you know, it happens to the best of us. It, it all started, I feel it all started with this move, uh, rook D to G1. Because it's very awkward, like, I don't, like, it's, I get it, you try to attack, but it's like the rook was so well placed on the D file, uh, and then, really, the move I really hated, first of all, it's a big instructive lesson that you want to tuck in your king on B1, I think, actually, that's the biggest lesson of this game, and what I really hated is here, after G5, first of all, I didn't like 92, I didn't, uh, Although I guess it was playable, but now after g5, why not take a g? It's just common sense. This fg was just an awful, awful move because now black is completely dominating. You're completely pinned. He could have got like everything is perfect now for black. Queen f6 is just disastrous for white. Again, if you your king was on b1, you wouldn't have any of these problems. So super instructive game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.